Hi kids! Our lesson for today is multiplication of decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers. Multiplication of decimals is somewhat similar to multiplication of whole numbers. For sure, you are familiar with the rules on how to multiply. After going through this lesson, you are expected to multiply decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers. Look at the square with one side measuring 4.2 centimeters. Let's find the perimeter of the square. So first step, we are going to write the formula. The formula is perimeter is equals to 4 times side. So that is 4 times 4.2 centimeters. So kasi ito yung ating side. Now, we are going to write the numbers in column form. So we write 4.2 times 4 vertically. Patayo. And then second step, we are going to multiply the numbers as if we are multiplying whole numbers. Para lang do tayo nagmumultiply ng whole numbers. So 4 times 2 is equals to 8. 4 times 4 is equals to 16. Third step, count the number of decimal places in the factors. So pag sinabi natin factors, number that we multiply. So, nandito yung decimal point natin. Ilalagay natin papunta sa right para mabilang natin yung decimal places. So, we have 1. Then, last step, place the decimal point in the product. The decimal place in the product is equal to the total number of decimal places in the factors. Kung isa lang yung ating ditong binilang, so isa lang din doon sa product papunta naman sa left. So, dito tayo mag-start. So, we have 1. So, sa pagitan ng 6 and 8 ang decimal point. So, the answer is 16 and 8 tenths. Physical activity burns calories. For every 3,600 calories burns in your body, you lose 1 pound. Look at the table below and compute the total calories burned while doing some related activities. Suppose you weigh 85 pounds and walk for 2 hours. How many calories did you burn? So first step, we are going to multiply 85 pounds by 2 hours. So that's eight, that is 85 times 2. So, 2 times 5 is equals to 10, carry 1. Then, 2 times 8 is equals to 16 plus 1 is equals to 17. And then, next step natin, we are going to multiply 170 by 2.4. Kasi yun yung activity na ginawa natin. Walking. 2.4. Para makuha natin yung calories na na-burn. So, that is 170 times 2.4. So, we write the numbers vertically or in column form. And then, next step, we are going to multiply as if we are multiplying whole numbers. So, 4 times 0 is equals to 0. 4 times 7 is equals to 28. Carry 2, then 4 times 1 is equals to 4, plus 2 is equals to 6. Next, 2 times 0 is equals to 0, 2 times 7 is equals to 14, carry 1, and then 2 times 1 is equals to 2, plus 1 is equals to 3, then add. So, 0. 8, then 6 plus 4 is equals to 10, carry 1. 1 plus 3 is equals to 4. Then third step, count the number of decimal places in the factors. So we have one decimal place. And then last step, place the decimal point in the product. 
the decimal place in the product is equal to the total number of decimal places in the factor. So, meron lang tayong isang decimal place. So, ilalagay natin sa product. That is 1. 1 decimal place. So, the answer is 408. So, 408 calories ang na-bring. Next, let's find the product. So, we have here point four. And 2,900 multiplied by 12. So, 2 times 9 is equals to 18 carry 1. Then, 2 times 2 is equals to 4 plus 1 is equals to 5. Then, 2 times 4 is equals to 8. Next, multiply naman natin yung 1. So, 9, 2, 4. Then, add. Bring down 8. 5 plus 9 is equals to 14. Carry 1, 1 plus 8 is equals to 9, plus 2 is, is equals to 11. Carry 1, 1 plus 4 is equals to 5. Then third step, count the number of decimal places in the factors. So we have 1, 2, 2 decimal places. And then place the decimal point in the product. So 2 decimal places, 1, 2. So, two decimal places. So, the answer is 51 and 48 hundredths. Let's solve this. If a notebook costs 5 pesos and 25 centavos, how much is the cost of 6 notebooks? So, we are going to multiply 5 pesos and 25 centavos by 6. So, write the numbers in column form and then Multiply the numbers uh, as if we are multiplying whole numbers. So, 6 times 5 is equals to 30. Carry 3. 6 times 2 is equals to 12. Plus 3 is equals to 15. Carry 1. Then, 6 plus 5 is equals to 30. Plus 1 is equals to 31. Then, count the number of decimal places in the factors. 1, 2. So, we have 2 decimal places. So, dun sa product, 2 decimal places naman, papunta naman sa left. 1, 2. So, the answer is 31 pesos and 50 centavos. So, yun yung ating lesson for today. Sana marami kayong natutunan. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.